In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating the use of the Boolean operator AND, and I'll be demonstrating this in the Academic Search Complete periodical database. Let's go ahead and start out in our most general search by just entering a single word. So let's say we were looking for articles on fracking. Um, now, we probably would want to truncate that. Let's go ahead and truncate that and just get a a result for any articles that have some variation of the word frac in the title. Okay, now I had 353 results that have frac somewhere in the title, or frac, fracking, or fracs. And let's go ahead and narrow down our search results by uh, introducing the Boolean operator and, and then also introducing a subtopic. So let's say we were interested in um, fracking and possible earthquake effects. So let's go ahead and put in earthquakes. And we can truncate that as well to get the singular and plural. So since I'm using the Boolean operator AND to, con uh, to connect my two terms, I would expect to get less than 353 results because I'm requiring more for my search results. And that narrowed it down to nine items. And if I take a look at it, my resulting list, I could see that some variation of the word frac or fracking is in the title as well as earthquakes in each of my results. Okay. Now I can go back here and narrow it down even further. Let's say I was most concerned about earthquakes in Ohio, so I can say and Ohio. Now I only had nine before, so this should really narrow it down quite a bit. Click on search and now I only have two and if I look at each one I see that each one has fracking Ohio and earthquake in it. Okay, so it did exactly what I asked it to. And at this point there's no way that I would want to narrow it down any further because I'd probably eliminate all of my results. As you can see, the more ands that you insert into your search strategy, the fewer results you're going to get because you're requiring more of your search results. Let's go ahead and clear this out and let's do another fracking example. Let's go back to our 353 results and let's say that I'm interested in um, not in earthquakes but maybe the effects in pollution. So I have the 353 results that have something to do with fracking. Let's introduce my subtopic of pollution. Now as you can see that's another word that would be good to truncate. Cut off the ION and that would cover pollute, polluted, pollution. Okay, so let's see how many we get out of this 353 results that have something to do with pollution. And now I have 10 results and in each title I'll see that pollution and fracking is in each of the results. And they're not necessarily next to each other so it's not like I'm doing a phrase search and requiring them to be near each other. The only stipulation with my search is that right now I'm only searching titles and that's only because I want to demonstrate where they appear in my search results easier for you. Um, but keep in mind that you don't necessarily have to search this way, you can search without um, designating a field. And then of course you'd get many more results than I did, but that's just for demonstration. You may also notice that I'm typing in the Boolean operator in between each of my terms. You don't necessarily have to do that, you could use the search builder and instead type them on different lines as long as the boolean operator is there. Let's go ahead and truncate that and it's basically the same thing. I'll get the same results as I did before only instead I was typing it across and you don't have to type them in capital letters either. I'm just doing that for the sake of demonstration. Okay, continue on with the next tutorial.